The next uh, part of the reassembly is the uh, long shaft that goes along here. A long recording. I found this uh, lead screw is a little bit tight if I tighten all the cap screws up. It seems to bind, so I'm not quite sure why. So I've left one screw a little bit not quite so tight so that the shaft moves freely. Whether it's a uh, design of it or not, I'm not sure. If you leave these a little touch of touch loose, it moves quite nicely. So I'll have a look at that later. The next step is to put the cover, plastic cover in there. Here's the um, shaft. That's it. Next step is to uh, now put the power box back. It can now be connected up. That's the mains coming in. That's the motor. The brown lead goes on the switch here. Sure, that's in properly. Blue lead, sure that's in properly. The 240 volts coming in, which has got the earth wire with it. The blue lead goes down, down here. And the on off switch, the big chunky switch there. And the active goes on the top terminal. And let's go 
and the appropriate screw holes there. So we'll connect them up now. Okay, so the box has been rewired. Now we can uh, attach the cover. Goes on the shaft, on the threaded shaft, and the casing of the power has a slot, and the slot goes over the rubber grommet. Stop the uh, metal getting into the power box. Now we can uh, screw it back in. Right, the next section is to put the um, spindle cover plate on. And here you uh, put these two screws in and push down hard uh, while tightening them up. So we'll do that there. Match with the new block, that's fine. Buzzing is the lights. Just turn the lights on. So you're just a little bit loose. A bit loose. Push down hard according to the instructions. And tighten them up. That's that.